Today I'll be chatting with Mahika, who's a third year student studying kinesiology at McMaster University. Mahika is excited to use her knowledge of science to pursue a career in bioethics and law. Thank you for, for joining us. And before I begin, I just want to say to the, the viewers um, that we are a new channel called Catapult, which is a student run initiative aimed at helping students to get them to the universities and programs of their choice. So it, it would mean a lot of us if you could subscribe to our channel. Uh, thanks, Mahika, for joining us. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. So my first question for you is, which universities and programs were you initially accepted to for undergrad? So when I was actually applying to undergrad, I focused most of my applications on science-based programs, specifically in the field of life sciences and kinesiology because I kind of knew that I wanted to pursue a career in healthcare. So the programs that I was accepted to range from most of the Ontario universities that offer popular programs in life sciences. So that includes McMaster, Western, Waterloo, um, U Ottawa, um, U of T. I think those are the top ones that I had right off the bat. Um, but I knew that um, McMaster's kinesiology program was definitely going to be one of my first choices. Um, and that's because of the critical understanding and hands on approach that they have towards research. That's something that really stood out to me. Um, so yeah, so most of the programs that I applied to were um, in science. I did apply to a few business programs that I got accepted to as well. But um, in my second semester of grade 12, I kind of figured out that I wasn't going to go into business and I was going to stick with the science field. So that's that. Awesome. Um, and what was your application process like? Um, so for Mac Kin, uh, the application process is solely academic. Um, I'm not entirely sure what it is now, but three years ago, we were expected to just submit our grades, our top six um, course grades um, to the admissions committee and there was no supplementary application for this program specifically. Um, they do have a few prerequisites though. So that included calculus, advanced functions, biology and English. I believe those are the only ones. And then the remaining two courses were just electives. So they did look at my top six average um, and that was pretty much it for the application process. I think the cutoff was around a 92% my year. Um, and that's about it. But for the other science programs that I did apply to, there were supplementary applications that asked a few questions about your extracurricular involvement and like why you wanted to join the program, general questions. Um, so is there anything that you wish you knew when you started this process? Um, okay, so this kind of has an upside and a downside. I was very actively involved in extracurriculars in high school. Um, because I always felt that the more extracurriculars that you're in, the better prepared you'll be to write your applications and the more you can speak to, um, to your experiences. And definitely that was something that did help me um, in university and applying to university because I obviously had a wealth of experiences that I could refer to um, and also speak to in my interviews and applications. However, um, I wish that I knew that extracurriculars weren't the end of the world in high school. And rather than being involved in extracurriculars that you think are going to help you in your particular career field, it's better to just be involved in a few extracurriculars that can really help you explore your skill set and who you are as a person. So that's something that I wish that I knew of because when I was applying to programs, I figured that if I was involved in just a few extracurriculars that helped me um, explore the aspects of critical thinking, um, being a leader, being open-minded, et cetera, that would have sufficed. And I could have spent the rest of the time working on working on myself during high school. Um, but on the other hand, I was just in a bunch of extracurriculars. A lot of them were just very parallel to each other. It was very helpful in terms of um, my confidence as an interviewee or as an applicant. However, I did wish that I was a little bit more well-rounded in terms of where I was giving my attention. I think that insight will be really helpful for students who are who are maybe in a position that you were in or students who are um, really thinking about extracurriculars and what they need to, to get into their programs as well. Um, in terms of a concrete question about your, your experiences, what was your top six or your like 
overall average when you were in grade 12 applying to these programs? So my average was hovering around a 93% when I did apply to programs. Um, it did increase after that because I was in a program where a lot of my grades were coming from my exams. So by the end of grade 12, my average was obviously much higher. But when I did apply, I did go in with around a 93%. Um, and in terms of the applications that, that you wrote that did require a supplementary component or an essay, what kind of tips would you have for students when it comes to writing those sorts of essays? Um, the biggest tip that I wish I would have given myself at that time, I mean, I did, it ended up fine, but something that could have refined my applications a little bit more is to be entirely true to yourself and who you are. So if that means that you don't know exactly why or exactly what you're going to do coming out of undergrad, that doesn't mean that that will be a downside on your applications. You can definitely speak to what you think you're interested in and what your skill sets are and how you would like to refine those skill sets by um, accepting the program that you're interested in. So for example, I didn't know that I was 100% gonna pursue law school or go into bioethics, let alone even know what bioethics was when I applied to university. So for me, it was more of just like, I, want, I knew that I wanted to pursue something in healthcare. I knew that I wanted to help patients and that was something I was passionate about, but I didn't necessarily know that I would find my place in um, being a part of the process of effective healthcare delivery in a legal context. So that's something that I actually learned through my courses in undergrad. So it's okay if you don't know exactly what you're gonna do coming out of undergrad and you don't really need to speak to that as much in your applications. It's more of why this program is gonna help you become the person that you wanna be and help you attain the skills that's gonna help, that, that, that is gonna foster your approach um, into the field that you wanna go into. So definitely hone in on your skill set. Um, talk about that in your applications. Talk about what makes you unique and a good fit for the program. But you don't necessarily have to emphasize on kind of like a cliche storyline. You, you kind of like build your own picture through the process of undergrad itself. So you can just talk about um, your skills and like how your experiences helped you refine and develop those and how this program is going to help you magnify those skills even more. Great. And how did your experiences in undergrad inform your interest in the kind of legal career that, that you want to pursue? So I was very, I'm very fortunate to be in a program that has a very hands-on approach to learning. So um, right on from first year, we were in research labs. Um, the faculty is very welcoming and um, always open to talk about new opportunities and projects. So it wasn't just being in a lecture hall and you know, taking notes and memorizing and writing tests, it was more of like a, a bit, we were, we were being taught through a critical lens. And I think that's what helped me think about life sciences or kinesiology, um, just like the human body in general from many different perspectives. It wasn't just from a scientific perspective, but also from a social context. So some of the courses that I was taking, specifically um, courses like health psychology, helped me look at um, the role of bioethics in patient delivery and the different spheres of bioethics. So then that kind of like got me really interested in the field. And I took a few courses um, that are related to philosophy and the social sciences as part of my electives. And then I kind of like started learning how I could combine this knowledge that I was getting from my science courses, as well as from my electives. So I was definitely taking advantage of that elective room and how I could combine that into a career that really fit my skill set and my interests. And then from there on, I kind of like started exploring extracurricular opportunities, such as joining the pre-law society or joining bioethics related um, organizations, which helped me develop a perspective where I could use my knowledge in kinesiology, as well as what I was learning in bioethics um, in the form of a legal career. And you've written journal articles already, which is really cool and impressive. Yeah, thank for you. For an undergrad student especially um, at like Ivy League institutions. And maybe do you want to chat a little bit about that? And then we'll we'll kind of wrap up. For sure. So um, once I knew that I wanted to go into bioethics, I was very fortunate um, to be accepted as a university representative with the Canadian Bioethics Society, which is a national forum that 
um, facilitates bioethics research in Canada. So there I was able to network with many professionals in the field of bioethics, ranging from PhD candidates, doctors, lawyers, people who had backgrounds in sciences and went into law, kind of like me. And um, from there, I was able to get some really incredible research opportunities um, at institutions in the United States. So it definitely increased my international outreach. And that's what kind of helped me network with um, professionals at different schools that I may be interested in um, applying to for my master's in law school. And um, from there, I was able to actually take the knowledge that I was learning and putting it into a written form. So I was able to bring my thought process into words um, through those opportunities. And all of that started from being a part of Matt Kinn and hearing about bioethics in my classes. Um, and then now that I look back on that whole journey, those journal articles have only been possible because of that experience. So definitely the university program that I'm in has contributed to that, to that aspect. Very cool. And my final question is, is there anything else that you would like our viewers to know based on your experiences or maybe some of your top tips that you would give to, to students who are looking to apply to universities or McMaster specifically? Um, I think the number one piece of advice that I would give is don't give up um, in high school. Don't get caught up um, by that one test or that one quiz that you didn't do as well as you thought you wanted to do on. Don't, don't get stressed at all because high school is only the beginning and it definitely is your foundation. So work, work on just developing the skills that you would want to see in yourself as a future leader, as a future professional, and really take care of yourself. Take the time to explore your interests on your own outside of the classroom. And try and, and try and explore a variety of extracurricular opportunities. Don't focus too much on, on one respect and um, on one aspect, sorry, and don't um, and don't get too worked up by just the high school environment itself. I don't feel pressured to take a certain class or get a certain grade. Um, just, just take it easy, go with the flow. I always tell myself that even in university, go with the flow, don't get too stressed out or worked up and definitely work on yourself because university will be a wonderland in itself to explore different opportunities. And I wish I knew that when I was in high school, I wish I knew that I didn't have to have it all figured out then. So don't worry too much if you're still exploring your opportunities. Take care of yourself and take your time. Thanks so much, Mahika.